Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. One of the things that's happening in the declining in marriage industry is the decline in brick and mortar jewellery shops across the United States. So on Sunday I just had a little look around to see what I could find for this video and I found this series of articles. It's from a US ma magazine website called in store and it was written on july 21st 2019 which is about seven months ago 135 u.s jewelry retailers closed in the second quarter it's not a big article it just gives just statistical figures about it but one or two things caught my eye the jewels trade board of trade report 135 u.s jewelry retailers close their doors in the second quarter of 2019. The number represents a de decrease from 195 closing in, in the second quarter of 2018, which means it was a difference of 60 cl sh jewelry shops less that closed in between 2019 and 2018. Now it turns about new stores opening, which will take up the slack. 56 re retailers opened the doors in the US down from 63 in the second quarter of 2018. But as you know, 80% of new businesses always fold in the first year. It says the total number of new jewelry businesses, including retailers, wholesalers and manufacturers, was 68. That was down from 71 new businesses in the in the year ago quarter. Now it says that the total number of jewelers across America is 18,893 as of the second quarter of 2019 down from 19,357 in the same quarter a year ago which is a difference of 504. Now with everything all the jewelry businesses everything included there's just under 25,000 jewelry businesses in total and that was down from 25,607 which is a total difference of 641. Now three months later there's a same company put this article on 229 euros jewelry retailers closed in the third quarter and we have the same st structure of the article. The number of retailers closing and the, from 229 closed their doors in the third quarter of 29. Uh, a total of 182 retailers cease operations was 43 consolidations, sales merger, which means smaller shops merged into a big shop and four bankruptcies. Now it says the total number of US jewelry businesses that close include retails, hotels and manufacturers was 286. This was an increase from 226 in the third quarter of 2018 so that is an, an upwards closure. And once again, 57 new retailers opened their doors in the US from the 42 in the third quarter of 2018. The total number of new jewellery businesses, again, including retailers, blah, 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 was up by, from 51 new businesses a year ago. And once again, it listed total number of jewellers in America is 18,780. As of the third quarter of 2000, and 19 down from 19,300 the same quarter a year ago, which is a difference of 520. And again, this is just a rundown of last year, written on the 6, January 16, 2020, which is about eight weeks, nine weeks ago. Number of closures is significantly down from 2018 figures, maybe so, but it's still not healthy with 2019 figures. 
It reports the Jewelry Board of Trade reports that 20, 717 US jeweler retailers stopped doing business in 2019. That's down from 820 52 businesses that closed in 2018. But remember, it's a decreasing circle of jewelry businesses, so it's still on a downward trend. Of these, 589 fell into the category of ceased operations, which means they weren't getting enough income in to pay the rent, etc., while 110 were listed as consolidations, which means merging again, and 18 were classified as bankruptcies, which means what was coming in wasn't equal what was going out. And once again, 193 new jewellery businesses opened the doors in America in 2019. That was up from 183 in 2018, but only up by 10. Counting resellers and manufacturers along with retailers, 900 US jewellery businesses closed their doors in 2019, compared to 1,013 in 2017, two years ago, which is a difference of 520 but it's still 520 jewellery shops which are closing. And the last paragraph, the total number of jewellery businesses in America is 25,565 compared to 25,400 at the end of 2018, which is about 752 difference. Now looking further into this on a paper called USA Today, dated... December 10th last year. It says the world's largest retailer jewellery is planning to close 150 stores in the fiscal year. Well, is that fiscal year 2019 or is that fiscal year 2020, i.e. this year? It says the officials with Signet Jewellers operate 3,300 3, stores primarily under the brand name of K Jewellers, Zales, Jared, even I remember the know them and piercing pagoda announced the closing wednesday or oh, with its quarter earnings then it goes on about it this is interesting this here was probably engagement rings that's probably just jewelry for going out but there's one couple there there's the girl and there's her fiancé and there's the sales lady. As you notice, here in the back, there's a wedding photograph. They look like Asian Americans. And there's another wedding photograph. But there's not much business going on. And the decline of malls across America could probably have a significant effect on that. I found this. This was written right at the bottom. I'm not going to go through it. 2018. Need help? She asks. No, I don't. Why retail jewelers are closing all over the US? Apparently, it's really the brick and mortar stores are closing and the on round jewelry sale is going onto the jewelry sale, sorry, is going onto the online. Uh, what's the word? world marketplace and that's the reason why the jewelry shops across america are closing at the rate of 717 a year for the 2019 now nowhere naturally does migtow feature in these articles but i can't help but wonder as more and more guys turn to migtow across north america is the jewelry effect Retail and closing being affected by it or not? It's something to ponder about, so I thought I'd do a video about it. But we might not be having much of an effect, but we are sort of having an effect, even though I don't know whether it's engagement rings which are causing the jewel retailers to close. But women buy more jewellery than guys, so... Maybe we are having an effect by saying stuff that I'm not getting into a relationship. She can buy her own jewellery. But anyway, I thought I'd just 
bring the whole list to your attention and naturally I'll include all the links below so you can have a proper read of it yourself but those of you who do statistics and are good at maths you will be able to work out whether the industry is on a decline or whether this is just a blip before it starts climbing again right people that's the end of this one I found another one about the cost of marriages etc I'll see if I can do one next week because it's on a statistic website and it's a subscription based one and I don't know if I'll be able to go through it properly but anyway that's all for this one you know the routine like dislike comment subscribe it's completely up to you so until next week bye bye